Well, we got some first ball hitting to start the action. Here's the wooden bat. In the Slow Pitch League, A Division. Marty's Carpet at the plate. Big Earl's Restaurant, Plattsburgh Bass Club in the field. Chris Booten is on the pitching rubber tonight. Mark Tatro decided to give himself a rest. Now we got quick Rick Lamberton. Alan Rock calling the balls and strikes. Jamie Labarge pumping on the bases. Boutin pitching. Caleb Castein behind the plate. Mike Cody's at first base. Jared Perrier's at second. Kyle Perrier's at short. Set to Kyle Perrier. He's going to go to Jared. No, he's not. And mascot on the field. Had plenty of time. Should have made sure of one. Trying to get two. Well, Kyle Perrier. Come on over. The error, Randy Eversole at third base. There's Alfie Ledoux. Came in the ballpark of limping. He's a strike. The uh, Earls team is tied for first place. Ebersole gets the force. Doesn't worry about the second out or the third. Made sure of one. This should be Steve Nicholson running here. Now Nate Durkee. Chops it to Ebersole. He's going to try for two this time. He gets it. Oh, good defensive inning there for Randy... Ebersole, Kyle well, Perrier's dog wants to be part of the action tonight, I guess. After half an inning, there's no score here in beautiful downtown West Plattsburgh. This is July 28th, 2010. It's a Wednesday, 9 o'clock game. As I was saying, the uh, Big Girls Restaurant Plattsburgh Bass Club team in a three-way tie for first, a virtual three-way tie. Uh, you count the losses and they're, they're tied. One team may have a win more than another, but a virtual tie for first with Labatt's the defending champions. And uh, post-16-19, the team that had been leading the league uh, throughout the first part of the season. Here's Chris Booten. It was 0 for 4 in his last time up there as the leadoff man, but Mark Tatro says we're going to try that again. That was earlier in the week, a 5-2 victory against post-16-19. And Bhutan's going to break his string with the base hit. Now Kyle Perrier at the plate. To straightaway center. Uh, fired right to one hopper to second. One down. Looks like uh, Nate Lamberton out there. Here's uh, Jason Mayette. Left fielder. First pitch to him is hit deep into the corner, but it's going to go out of play. Strike one. Pleasant evening in the North Country. Showers rolled through this area earlier this evening. Pulsifer delivers. Molly Pulsifer on the pitching rubber. That's a base hit for Mayat. Moose fires it in, and it's going to be second and third. Now Corey Russell. Runners at the corners with one out. Oh, oh no, excuse me, second and third with one out. There are two ducks on the pond for Russell. A division action in the Adirondack League. Lester M. Rock Field. Swing and a miss. Two and two. 
Chops that one. He's having trouble. Ball one on the other side of the fence. Foul ball, third strike, out of play. He is an out. So Russell was out to chopping at the ball. Now here's Donnie Laporte. Pitch from Pulsifer. It's knocked down by ML at second. Two runs will score. Almost a great catch by, by uh, Dave ML. Uh, Shorty ML. So the port on it first, and Caleb Castine, the batter. Two runs in for Big Earls. It's hit to left field. It is dropped. Laporte will score. Castine will stop at second. So it's a 3 nothing lead. Now we got Stacy Perrier. Randy Eversole on deck. And the pitch to Perrier is swung on and drilled to Amal. This one's a little bit lower, and he's able to hang on to this one. So a nice catch on a nice shot by Stacy Perrier. So three runs for Big Earls. They lead it as we go to the top half of the second here on Viewer Supported Hometown Cable. Pete Staley, the batter. Looks at a strike. Let's see outfield for uh, Earls. We have uh, Jason Mayette, Donnie Laporte, Chuck Hemingway, and Stacey Perrier. Base hit for Staley. He's going to look for two. He's there. Now we got Arala Parker Jr. Look one outside. Three nothing in the second. Big girls. Plattsburgh Bass Club leading. Three and one. That's from Boudin. Oh, it's by Cody. Didn't get in front of that. And Parker will be on. Oh. And a run scores for Marty's carpet. Now we got Shorty Amel, Dave Amel. Pops it up. Kyle Perrier says he has it. Strike one to Nate Lamberton, Moose Lamberton. This is watching a uh, hometown cable network. I was just watching a uh, grasshopper game with Nate. Good try. Well, Lamberton with good speed, excellent speed, just like his papa Rick. Beats it out. Now we got Donnie Pulsifer. He's the catcher. Ball one. Two outs, one on, three one, the score in the second. Pitch from Boutin. That's a base hit. If it stays fair, it's foul. It's foul. Pulsifer hits it to Ebersole. He's going to go to second. To Jared Perrier for the force. It's 3-1. We're going to the bottom of the second. Randy Ebersole at the plate. Leading off the Earls half of the second. Young fan looking for Mark Tatro's autograph. High lazy fly, one down. Now we got Jared Perrier. 
Let's see, we mentioned uh, Wally Pulse for pitching. I don't know if we mentioned Donnie Pulse for catching. First base is Rick Lamberton. Parker over. Oh, wow. Yeah, I got that. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? The old uh, doesn't fall far from the tree type of thing here. The nut doesn't fall far from the tree, I guess. <laughs> I think that was on purpose. Uh, now we got Chug Hemingway. Let's see. Uh, Rick Lamberton's at first. Uh, Dave Amell is at second. Nate Durkee's at short. Alfie Ledoux at third base. Outfield, you got Steve Nicholson out there. You got Rolla Parker Jr. You got Moose Lamberton, and you got uh, Pete Staley in left. Two. Ball four. So Hemingway walks. And Mike Cody will step in. And Cody drops one into left field. Hemingway looking for the third. He'll be there. He's standing up. Where's he going here? Come on, Cody. On your feet. And Hemingway scores. Took Hemingway a long time to figure out he should be running there. That ball was in no man's land and nobody near it. Top of the order now, Chris Booten. Just barely missing ball one. So it's now 4 1 in favor of Big Earls. Bhutan knocks it back to Pulsifer. He's going to go to Lamberton for the out. So a run for Earls. It's 4 1 after two full on viewer supported hometown cable. Here's a Wally Pulsifer. He's going to take a strike. Starting the third inning. Marty's Carpet Trailing, Big Earl's Restaurant, Plattsburgh Bass Club. 4 1 is our score. 1 1 pitch. That's it, To Stacy Perrier. We got one down. Now we got Steve Nicholson. Looks at that first one outside. Booten delivers. Golfs it to Donnie Laporte. Two down. He used to be known as Quick Rick Lamberton. Now he's not so quick, Rick. But he's still faster than the average. Man his age. Limping Alfie Ledoux, the batter. It's a two right, foul out of play, strike one. Just missed, one one. Off Cody's gloves. Right there. Now Nate Durkee at the plate. Go ahead, go ahead. Hey, thank you. Potential tying run is at the plate. Come on, Nate. Alan, don't worry, we're going to Wiffle Ball next. Hit to stay uh, to Kyle Perrier. He goes to Randy Ebersole for the force, and that gets the. Third out of the inning, it remains 4-1, and we head for the bottom of the third here on Viewer Supported Hometown Cable. Kyle Perrier hits it to left field. One down as it's grabbed by uh, Staley. 
And that'll bring up Jason Mayette. Bottom half of the third, 4-1. The girls' restaurant, Plattsburgh Bass Club. Leading by a scant three runs. Pulse for delivers. 1-1. One, one. Line shot. It's going to be foul. One ball, two strikes. Pulse for him in the old armpit ball. Two and two. Can of corn. Two down. Come on, Corey, come on. Now we got designated hitter Corey Russell. Who uh, seems to be having trouble swinging tonight. He's uh, batting cleanup, so you know he doesn't normally have trouble swinging. pitch. Strike one. Donnie Laporte on deck. Two, two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. In the bottom of the third, and Russell gets a base hit. Bring up Donnie Laporte. Gets it into left field. Myatt running. Myatt running for Russell, who's in at third. Uh, Laporte easily into second. Two outs and two ducks on the pond for Caleb Castine. Pitch from Pulsifer. Popped it up. ML going back, going back, can't get there in time. Two runs will score, and Castine will reach for the second time on balls that look like they were going to be caught. We'll give him a base hit on that one. It is six to one, and Stacy Perrier at the plate. It's it to ML. He knocks it down. No play at first. Castine goes to third. Took a bad hop on him. Took a bad hop and he was only able to knock it down. In between hop and it was a bad one. Now Randy Ebersole. Runners at the corners. Uh, let's can of corn into deep left field. Uh, so he's just swinging, uh, swinging, swearing, so we have to back it up. And we're going to go to the fourth, 6 1 to score. Pete Staley at the plate. Chops it to the left side. It'll be a long throw for Kyle Perrier, and he's got it. But Jamie Gilmore in. He's uh, in the lineup for Donnie Laporte, who probably took off with Shea Gilmore. And we'll see Donnie, unless he's hiding in, in a dugout. Oh, well, uh, Parker Jr. made that uh, interesting over the fence catch. Jared Perrier over to Cody. We have two down. Top half of the fourth. 6 1. Earl's leading. And Shorty Amel takes a strike. A two. So let's see. Uh, Caleb Castine has gone to right field with uh, Gilmore behind the plate now. 
and uh, Stacy Perrier has moved over to left center. Hit to Jared Perrier, and it's the third out. We're going to the bottom of the fourth, halfway through this one. It's 6-1 in favor of the girls. Jared Perrier at the plate, hits the first offering foul, strike one. Donnie Laporte is still here, he, he's stuck around. Bottom half of the fourth inning, 6-1. Earls over Marty's carpet, A division action. Uh, fouling off this direction, oh, hit somebody. Hit somebody. Yeah, the truck's okay. <laughs> the truck's okay. We'll dance in the truck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I decided to pray for, pray for rain, I guess. 2-2 Two -two pitch. This is going to be close to being out of play. It is foul ball, not out of play. Pulsifer checks his defense. This time it'll stay in play, but it's right at Rolla Parker Jr. Well, that's one down and Chug Hemingway, the batter. Strike one. <laughs> Hemingway goes to left center. Yeah, he likes to hustle, and he's going to hustle his way into a double. Good, good running there by Chug Hemingway. There's Mike Cody. Right one. Two. Oh and two. And pitch. I fly ball. Out of play. It's an out. Third strike. Now we got Chris Booten. He takes a strike. Foul ball. Third strike. Out of play. There's an out. Uh, is two Parker nice catch there by Rolla Parker made it look easy six one Earls are scoreless for the first time in their half inning we're going to the fifth well, that's it in the bleachers folks it's a Thursday, Thursday, Wednesday, Wednesday night. <laughs> Moose Lamberton at the plate, starting the fifth. Team down by five. Two balls and a strike. My booty. Why go to first base for them? Sorry, ball three, three one. <laughs> Popped up. Bhutan will grab. Whoa. Makes it, uh, makes it look more interesting than it should have been. There's Don Pulsifer. That's it. To Bhutan. Takes his time. Fires over to Cody. Two down. Now Wally Pulsifer at the plate. Strike one. That's fair ball right down the line. Oh, Pulsifer is on the two out single. Top of the order now, Steve Nicholson. Strike one. Oh, 
Out at third. Lamberton is out at third. He's running for Pulsiver. Uh, not sure the runner touched first base. But he was called safe, and we're going to the bottom of the fifth. <laughs> Kyle Perrier hits a bullet to Rick Lamberton. <laughs> uh, I guess he made a great catch. <laughs> no way I could get there in time with the camera. Here's Jason Mayette. We're in the bottom half of the fifth. It is 6-1. Exactly. 2-0. Oh. Albie, I'm coming to bat. You know where I'm going. All right, get the ass. Two balls and a strike. Hits a shot to left field. Two down. Mark Tetro has inserted himself into the lineup to bat for Corey Russell. First time he's ever hit cleanup. Oh, and he's out. We're going to the sixth inning, 6-1, six Big Earl's leads. Rick Lamberton, the batter. It's it to Kyle Perrier, one down. Now oh, Alfie Ledoux. That's a base hit for Ledoux. He'll slowly make his way to first. Now Nate Durkee. Chops it through the left side. Kyle Perrier, oh, he made a race out of it. Kyle Perrier, nice job. Fire into Jared Perrier. He relayed it to first, but uh, Durkee beats it out. Two down, and Pete Staley takes a strike. Pitch from Booten. 1-1 one, one pitch. That's a base hit. He wrist, wristed that one into left. Oh, Rala Parker Jr. Ball one. That's a gapper. He's going to score two. He's going to get three out of it. They got a three bagger. Two RBI triple for Rala Parker Jr. Dave Amell. Ball one. Off Booten. This is going to score Parker. Amell limps his way into first. It's a 6 4 ball game. Potential tying run at the plate. Moose Lamberton. Kyle Perrier over to Jared Perrier for the force. We're going to the bottom of the six. It's a 6-4 ball game. Here's Jamie Gilmore. He'll lead off the bottom half of the sixth. He's in the game for Donnie Laporte. Big girls. Lead down to just two little runs. Hit the short. Nate Turkey over to Rick Lamberton. We have one out. Now Caleb Castine. Makes a ball. Come on, get us started. 
Two balls, no strikes. Six to four, the score. July 28, 2010. It's going to be off the fence on a hop. He's going to get three out of it. And one out triple for Caleb Castine. Now Stacy Perrier. Pitch from Pulsifer. Strike. Randy Ebersole on deck. One ball, one strike. That's foul. Singles were all still up there, and we didn't drop any. It was still together. That's a base hit for Perrier. That'll chase Castine home. Perrier will be in at two. Third baseman Randy Ebersole, the batter. 7 4 the score. It's to Amel. Two down. Advances Perrier to third. There's Jared Perrier. With Chuck Hemingway on deck. Strike one. Bottom half of the sixth. 7 4 lead for Big Earl's Restaurant slash Plattsburgh Bass Club over Marty's Carpet. That's a base hit. That'll chase home run number eight. And Jared Perrier on with the RBI single. There's Chug Hemingway. Pulsifer delivers to Hemingway. It's a strike. That's a base hit. Perrier will stop at second. Mike Cody with the top of the order to follow. It's a high, lazy, drifting fly. It's caught right on the line in left field. So it is 8-4 after 6. We're heading for the top of the 7th here on viewer-supported hometown cable. Well, this team lead, uh, trailing, trailing by forward. Don Pulsifer takes the ball. Start the seventh. Two and zero. Three and zero. Butang gonna walk the bottom uh, next to the bottom batter here. Ball four. Gives the number nine hitter a free pass. Now, uh, Wally Pulsiver. Not down here, I got four. Bhutan. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Jared Perry said, I got to go back and tag that second base. And. Uh, Look like a certain double play. And Nate Lamberton's going to have to run again here. He just, he just ran for Don Pulsifer, now he's running for Wally Pulsifer. Steve Nicholson, the batter. Fouls it, strike one. Pitch from Putin. Base hit. Right there, right there. Where the heck's that throw going? Smart, smart move. That's where you want to be. Throw! Nate Lamberton got thrown out about an inning ago running. But he wasn't going to take any chances that time. Here's Rick Lamberton. Looks at a strike. One out. Two on. Four run ball game. 
Looks like it's playable. Hemingway is over. Nothing. Two down. Yes, yeah, so will get us to Alfie Ledoux, Youth Commissioner in Moors, last time I checked. Strike. Two outs, two on. Base hit. It's an 8-5 ball game. Runners at the corners. So, all of a sudden, we got the potential tying run at the plate. Nate Durkee, the batter. <laughs> Lamberton. <laughs> he's going to run again. The third, the third time he's run this inning. As a courtesy runner. Looks playable. Stacy Perrier grabs, and that's an 8-5 victory. Big Earl's Restaurant slash Plattsburgh Bass Club defeats Marty's Carpet. They will remain in a tie for first place. And that's the way it was on this July 28th, 2010. Thanks for watching, and for those of you supporting viewer-supported local television, Hometown Cable, win, lose, or draw, TV worthy of your support, Hometown Cable.